Hello everybody and welcome to the Avax She Lab Raft collaboration. Uh <laughs> where we just finished building our kitchen. Oh, I'm not in the kitchen. The kitchen is back here. And uh we do have a bit of filling out to do here. We need to put some more bits in yeah, it. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff that we want to move down. In fact, one of the first things we want to move down is basically the grill. And we also want to move the water in there. I would like to for all of our food and indeed our hydration needs to be met in this one yes. spot, if we possibly can. Let me move I mean, this water doofer. Right, thank you. Uh, you okay. Can, uh, now there's been a, oh, that's not gonna catch it. There's been a couple of updates, and one in particular that I'm extremely happy about, and that it, oh, did I miss it? Damn it. Uh, that is that we now can sort items into inventories, which is ridiculously good. I have been waiting for this for so, so terribly long. I'm gonna, mm, well, first I'm gonna take up this grill. I'm gonna move that. Okay. Let's pop that down here. And then I will set up. Can I get that in there? Yes, I can. Put it. Okay. Uh, I'm going to cook the fish so that we've got some decent uh, food going. Yeah. There we go. I've still got a fishing rod uh, here, so. We need potatoes and beets to make vegetable soup. Very much something we want to do. Do we have like a little thing? Yes, we do. Marvelous. All right. I also need to just generally grab some food. But yeah, yeah. one of the first things that we're go going to want to do today is to effectively get our cook area fully set up. I yes. think that would be the best thing. Absolutely. No, no don't eat the potato. Oh, my Lord. Right, now, it says potato <laughs> and beet times four. Is that just... Well, it couldn't be four beets, so I guess it's just... Mixing. Yeah, it's uh, two potatoes, two beets, I think. Place raw potato and place raw beet. Then start cooking. Oh, there. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Got a massive catfish there. Cool. I wonder okay. if we've got enough stuff to make a new, um, some new chests. I would hope so, but I really don't know for certain. Black uh, rope hinge scrap for the big ones. I think that's really we what we should go those. for. Yeah. I'm Gosh, it's choppy on the seas oh, today. I know, right? Let's fill this salt know. water. I'm really oh, slow because I don't have any water. Uh, oh. So slow. I just filled that up with some more salt water to be processed. I don't know how long oh. it's going to take for the um, soup to be made, but hopefully that I, will I've be... I've got coconuts here. They might do a bit of hydration. Yeah, there we are. That'll do me for a little bit. Oh, there we are. Our first cooked meal is done. Very nice. Yeah, let's get the storage all sorted. Uh, oh, we need right, clay so bowls now. Ha ha ha. We know how to make those, though, don't we? I'm sure we had plenty of clay, didn't we? So. Uh, that'll probably be over here, actually. Clay bowls. I'm just trying to Maybe remember where we put everything. Clay. Yeah, we just need some clay. We've got clay bowls in that storage there. Do we? In the middle. Which one? Yeah. Ah. Oh, yes, we did. Marvelous. Okay. So we'll get some clay bowls up. Uh, pick up vegetable soup. There we go. One thing of vegetable soup. Start cooking again. Very nice. Okay. This is going to be good. I guess uh, we're going to want to keep a stock of clay bowls around then to fill up with vegetable soup. I have no idea how good this is going to be. But we definitely want storage for the readied meals. Uh, uh, also, so many barrels. Need more scrap. Scrap is actually what I'm short on here. Wow. Really? Yeah. Kind of impressive, actually. It might be some in a chest somewhere. Yeah, there we are. Loads, okay. Shark, get off the raft. No, horse. You little scallywag. Chewed off a part of our raft. Rude. Sorry. No, it's okay. I was not. I was barely paying attention as well. The, the sea is quite choppy today, so it's kind of hard to follow. It is. Yeah, it puts you off, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's that's exactly what it was. Nothing. Uh -huh. Nothing. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Right, there's plenty of water there now if you want it. I'm full Lovely. on hydration, so don't need to worry about that one for me. So where do we want the where do we want the chests? 
one well, next to the I'm cook thinking station, if maybe? we put them above on the walls, and I may replace the other walls at the back as well, but if we have two above the cook station, just centered on those walls if they can fit. Oh, okay, yep. Then that would allow us to put all of the raw ingredients there. Oh, that's amazing. So good. Yeah, so very that's good. About even? It is uh, even enough, I would say. Okay. Right, I'm going to pop these in. There we go. Uh, I would say we're probably going to want chests as well for the meals themselves, like the cooked meals. Any more planks? For want the of a better place to put them, I will pop those in the right chest, but I think it would be better for us to eventually have a separate chest for that as well. Uh, is there anything that we've got? Some meat? Melons? Um, uh, of shark meat? All of the raw foods? Make a bit more rope. Oh, did we not have potatoes to plant? Might not I have, have one potato in my inventory, so don't worry if, we, if there isn't. I've got um, there, there's plenty of other potatoes. That shouldn't be an issue for us. I'll just go and grab them now. But yeah, it would be amazing if we could make this whole area a little bit more organized. So we've got like a, a chest for fish in particular. Yeah. A chest for... Yeah, absolutely with you on that one. Just need to have enough stuff. The to... resident fisher approves of having somewhere to put their fish. I, I do. does Indeed. not surprise, actually, considering... Maybe, maybe just outside here could be like for fish. I don't know. Where? Or do you want it inside the kitchen? Oh, um. Just on the. I yeah, guess it uh, depends where you're gonna fish, really. I mean, maybe out here, maybe you could fish from the 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 rear of the raft. Back of the raft. Yeah, yeah. that might be a, a good place to that. to do that. I could put one there for fish then. Vegetable soup. Start cooking. Popping another vegetable soup in there. Oh, the yeah, the other big change. So if I just take some of these potatoes out. Let me grab some of them. I'll pop one back. Now, you've almost certainly heard me complaining previously about the fact that uh, it was an all or nothing. You could you could quickly put things into a chest, but it really was all or nothing. We now have... Uh, I think this is... Sort the storage? Yeah, there we go. We've now got a new button. So we can either dump everything into an inventory, or we can only stack things that already exist in there, and that is so good. My yes. lord. I need to find there. out what we got here. Which button is which? Oh, we've got the trash can! Woohoo! Yay! Which button is which? Uh, the one that has got a little square with a right-angled down-pointing mm -hmm. arrow is the sort into the inventory. The other one is just dump everything in there. Right. That I can See. tell, anyway. Yes, okay. I might be wrong. Just checking. Fairly yeah, certain just checking. I'm accurate with that. Uh, let's have a quick look around the raft to make sure that everything is well paid. Oh, these coconuts. 85% uh, health is fine. And uh, that was 90%. And have we got any others that I need to repair? We've got 95, 8, uh, 90, ooh, 50. Look, look. Are you happy? Are you happy, comment? I did pay attention eventually, and I did start using the middle mouse button to repair. Uh, to be fair, it's because the... Uh, she loves me doing that the whole time. Oh, yeah. But uh, the reason why I didn't implement those, those tips as quickly as you might have hoped uh, is simply that I hadn't... Uh, I hadn't had a chance to record new footage since those tips had come through because we had been recording in fairly large batches while Sheila was going to be uh, visiting some family to the south. Uh, there we go. We've got loads of fronds. Uh, shark some somewhere. Hello. Get off the boat. Step on those. There we go. Wow, that actually took a lot of damage there. Eh? I would like to make the raft out of a uh, nicer really out of um, nicer wood nicer wood where we can yeah well, we were discussing this last time we were sort of thinking yeah. about it weren't we and um, I think it would be nice I yeah think. I think so too just slowly replace it how far but out only once we've got enough wood you know yeah yeah of course 
I'm not sure if the nicer wood has any greater durability. Like in regards to shark attacks or not, but no. we can always reinforce the outside once we know where the outside is gonna be. That is definitely a thing we can do. Okay, I'm gonna put um, some chests out. You can move these if you want, but I'll put them down. Uh yeah, sure. So uh, we've got the fish one, ingredients uh ingredients in cooked food, is it? Yeah, pretty much, but I, I think we could probably have this chest for the cooked food. I was just putting it over there yeah. for the sake of it. Simply yeah, because... Yeah, so we've got plenty of room for ingredients. Yeah, exactly. We, we're we going to have a lot more ingredients than we are going to have cooked food, so we can easily just yeah. dock those up. Especially fish as well. It is now also going to be harder to make sure... Ooh, actually, you know what? I'm going to see how much this soup gives us. But it's going to be uh, increasingly hard to make sure that we've got everything we want. Uh, we are passing yeah. by an island. I don't know if you want to go and investigate or not. Uh, is it just a small one? I, I don't uh, think Yeah, it's just a small one. It has a reef, need. though. Have we got enough metal? We've got loads of metal. I'm still smelting it. Ah, so. Okay, then that, that's fine then for now. Uh, the We don't get a clay bowl back. Really? Yeah, so we need to go and dive the reefs and stuff to get the clay, but there's loads of clay in the, in the reefs generally, and it's only what? One tea clay for four bowls, something like that. Uh, something like that, yeah. Not too bad. But I'm just, it's, <laughs> I forget what other game it is. Oh, seven days to die. It's like, yeah, yeah, you, you've, uh, you've eaten your, your glass bottle. When, when you know, you, you made, I, I don't know what. You Mouth made in gushing it. with blood. Yeah, yeah, you made, you made boiled egg in, in this glass, glass jar, and uh, probably ate the glass jar, as you do, <laughs> you know. Really. And I just pour the thing out into my mouth rather than just devouring the, the entire bowl. Okay, i uh, got a couple of new boxes. Let's have a look at these. We've got, ooh, a nice bed. Ooh. And a cupboard. Okay, getting somewhere. I'm not I sure what, what the storage space was. is going to have. It just came out of my mouth. It, it's a, it was a sound. You made, you made mouth sounds. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Uh, how does one make the bin? Trash can. Scrap and a hinge. Should we make that? Um, I've got like six hinges on me and I've been using them to make chests. So that's why I've got Could them I get inventory. a hinge? Just one. Of course you make a trash a can. Hinge. Where is she Once I catch my okay. niche fish. That's fine. Oop. Come here next fish. I'm gonna have to keep on top of making this soup. I'm just going to pop it. Yeah, if you pop the hinge in there, I'll pop some more soup in there. The soup actually overfills you, which is interesting. It allows mm. you to eat above the um, kind of the maximum amount. I'm not sure if it gives you any other bonus when you do that as well. I, I really don't know. But it's very nice good. the stage we're at, isn't it? It's quite a nice chill sort of stage. We don't have to worry too much about sort yeah. of chasing things down, but obviously there's going to be some things we want to do. Yeah, yeah, of course. All right, I'm going to make but the trash can. I shall fill this chest with fish. I'm going to put the trash can um, just outside the kitchen for now. Okay. But I don't think that's where we really should live. But yeah, the trash can, I believe, allows us to actually empty everything out. There's another island off to the side, and I kind of think we should probably head to this one. Yeah, okay. We could go to that one. Because it gives us something else to do, you know? Yeah. Having a bit of a, a bit of a, an explore would be nice. I've got quite a few little... Also, loads of cupboards all of a sudden. Fishies. Has that been a, a, a new update? I don't know. Loads of what, sorry? Cupboards in... Oh, well, you know, storage crates in the ocean. Lots oh, of I them. don't know. No, those uh, those um, chests, they've always been there. Yeah, yeah, but there's, there just seems like a very large amount of them at the a moment. A lot of them. It's because we've actually been, had the raft going for a little while. I think sometimes we we veer off sense. too often. The shark is eating something. Ah, uh, they just ate something. Come here, you. Uh. No! Oh, is it the wrong, oh, that's the wrong shape? I'm so sorry. Oh no, uh, I don't even have an axe. Sorry. 
We'll have to he wait. lets the, the shark <laughs> eat the raft, then <laughs> sabotages the raft before I can repair it. I'm on to you. You're in cahoots with the shark. I was trying to help. Mm-hmm. Help in heavy I air quotes. That's right. I am not in cahoots trying to with help. no shark. Uh, right, actually, let's have a look at... Oh, the... F ah, right, so you build whatever it is, and then you add on the... the reinforcement. Okay, okay. Well, that's fine. I, I'm I'm okay with the shark having taken that part out because it allowed me to repair it, uh, replace it with a a better piece. But I think we okay. are yeah we're so super missing that island unfortunately. So we may as well just. That's okay. We will find another one again. probably in the next five minutes. So don't yeah. really worry too much. Well, I mean we've passed Less a couple. <laughs> so that's fine. We'll find another one. It's like yeah, but it's the going to the islands which is the problem, not the finding them. <laughs> we found plenty. All right, well, I'll, oh, I'll just I mean, line this up. I mean, there'll be another more. one soon, and we can just go to that one, mm -hmm. and it will be mm -hmm. like we so went great. To that, that last one, yeah. Junk. In fact, ooh, actually, off to the right, there is actually a oh, massive maybe. island, it looks like. Let's head there. Now, Sheila, you were saying before we started recording that there were a couple of other things you would like to do. Honestly, we've got such a good wind right now, we can probably move in any direction, more or less. We'll, we can probably sail across the wind a bit. All right, so one thing I would like to do is um, well, we probably do need to sort of expand the raft a bit to get more space for like the receiver and the, the So you antenna. want to work on the receiver, yeah? I think so. I think that would be right. a good thing to do We're today. going to need some glass. Do we have uh, four pieces of glass anyway? Um, let me see if there's any sand. Yeah, we've got seven pieces of glass. Okay. We've got plenty of copper. I see other one. We can definitely start working on that. Uh, I would like to make a, another purifier if we could, but the circuit boards will, can take a priority because, you know, that's going to get us some actual progress. You know? What do you need for the purifier? Um, Is that the goo? The purifier will need uh, glass. That's all we need. Oh, that, I mean, pieces of glass. oh, we've got loads of sand as well. So Yeah, that's what I was asking about. Yeah, don't about, worry yeah. too much about that. Oh, we need two circuit boards. Oh, how dare it. in here. Okay, you've already got that. All right, so I need a bit more vine goo. But we were making some. Well, I was making some. Where'd it go? I just picked it up. I was just <laughs> moving it around. It's okay. Right, I've grabbed the glass. I've popped the goo into that chest. So I'm going to go ahead Thank and make kindly. another... So circuit board fine. two. Perfect. I sort of feel that having a couple of these would be super useful. Let me Receiver. just grab all of these out of it. Oh, I don't have any plastic. What? We've got loads of plastic. That Where shouldn't be it, an then? issue. Where is it? Uh, well, if you give me just a moment to finish popping these chests down, I will have a look for you. I wonder if we could have... Yeah, I think we could probably squidge in. Do you think um, two uh, water refiners will be sufficient for us? Could be, but... Uh, four might be better. I had two just for myself. I've just popped in seven plastic into the chest there. Perfect, thank you. Right, we're coming up on this island. It's a big island. We really do need to turn harder into it, though. We want to get there. In okay, do you want me to get on the uh, sail then? I'm already doing it. Oh, well, you're already on it. Yep. Oh, yeah, that looks like an interesting island. It does. So I'm not liking our position on that uh, tall area. I do worry whenever I see the, the really tall yeah. mountains that there's going to be a bird at the top of it. But I have got a couple of arrows this time, so maybe. Oh, crap. Almost caught it. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Yes! Woo! <laughs> gotcha. Oh yeah, this looks interesting. Hey, shark attack. Yeah, I'm stuck on this darn oh, chest in the middle. It's fine. fine, it's off. That uh, needs to move so bad. Then yeah, then we should move it. Absolutely, we need more more chests down the bottom. Okay, we're getting close enough. Uh would you like me to move the chest? I'm in the middle of doing it, it's so okay. fine. I will handle the anchor then in that case 
Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, there we go. Marvellous. I'll try and always have at least one of these with plenty of uh, fresh water being processed. Right, we're right over the reef right now, so I think we could probably lower the anchor here. Oh, actually, we could probably get a little bit closer, but I'm a, a bit worried about the rocks underneath us, because, you know, a nice big swell and then a dip of the water level on our raft yeah. will be beached. Yes, uh, I don't think you want to go too... Okay, I'm going to drop anchor here. And while we do that, I'm going to grab you and then hop up. Now, another tip that quite a lot of people offered in the comments on the previous videos was do not take the shark's head. Harvest the shark three times exactly, or, or maybe it was four times. Um, but stop shy of the last time because you don't really want the head every single time anyway. Oh, yeah. Is that a seagull? Or is that? I don't know. Um, <laughs> or is that the bird? Yeah, the uh, but, yeah, if you can sort that out if you can just leave it there then the shark doesn't despawn for a couple of minutes after it's been right, killed cool. if you don't fully harvest it and until it despawns the next one won't respawn so that was a really really solid bit of advice thank you very much for that it was super super useful there we go i will try and keep on top of watering the crops as well my list of jobs grows uh, all right, I'm trying to keep on top of, there. like, keeping the water doofers full. Keeping the water doofers full? Quite well. Yeah, the water processors. Um, I'm going to try and keep the storage to the side. I mean, we haven't got a juicer yet, but let's try and keep fruit and stuff like that in the right one, I guess. Maybe not. I don't know. It's a bit of a, a, bit of a tricky one, that, actually. But... The more we segregate our food storage, the more storage we're going to have in the long run. Exactly. I think that is going to be very, very helpful. Uh, have we got anything on the go over here? No. Nope. I'm going to top them up with plants and do exactly the thing that I told everyone that we wouldn't be doing anymore. Filling really everything dumb. with plants. Yeah. I'm, I am very dumb. Uh, I'm going to start it's smelting okay. more of the... the Santa. No, it's not okay. <laughs> it's fine to make mistakes. That doesn't make you dumb. But when you point out the mistake that you've made previously and then don't use that, that, that is dumb. It, it's fine to make mistakes. It is fine to be weak. Mm -hmm. It is not okay to stay that way. Once you have identified the problem, then the, there is a responsibility for you to improve. It's not okay to keep making the same mistake endlessly. What's this uh, in the, uh, that's cooking in the, the forges? I put sand in there. Oh. I wanted to make some glass, some more glass. Well, it's, it's the one thing that doesn't, doesn't keep in a lump. It goes, like, straight across, and it looks like it. Because oh, normally yeah. when things are flat in there, things yeah, yeah, are done. done. So I was like, oh, yeah. why can't I pick this good up? Point. Whatever it is. Very good point. And that there. would be why. Right, a uh, bunch of other people also told me, oh, yeah, we had, like, we had loads of plastic. We have had absolutely loads of plastic available to us. But I've, uh, I'm have i going to need to grab it some then. of it. I'm going to make some more arrows, if that's all right. And it does yeah, use up a lot, sadly. We use up most of our plastic, in fact. But yeah, so we'll have to make sure that like between times when we need arrows, we have a good sail. Yeah. Because it tends to be when we're sailing that we pick up plastic. Yeah. And we veer off course a lot to go to islands and things. So. That we do. All right. Uh, I'm going to go and have an explore, if that's okay. Do you fancy coming along, or do you want to do the reef? Uh, I, I don't really want shark. to play with the shark at the moment, because I'm on a new desk setup. Ah, right, yeah. And, no and I think there's ping causing me to get out of time with the shark. Okay. So I'd be I'm really surprised at that, honestly, because we're on a... Well, I d actually, you know what? I don't know if we're connecting um, through yeah, the land or whether or <laughs> we're connecting out to Steam and then back into <laughs> to the network at home. It would not surprise me at all. It would not surprise all. me, neither. 
Uh, before I go, I'm going to make myself another axe. Uh, I've got the rope, need the plank, need the scrap, yeah, need the box. It's just, uh, just to let you know, I'm feeling quite... Like, I'm still learning where everything is and how how it works, and my wrists are not quite... Yeah. That's absolutely fine. Would you like to go and explore the island, then? Um, you might have to fight the bird, though. If there is I'm a bird. just going to put things away first, then, and make sure I've got a good food feed on me, but yes, I'll do that then. Okay, well, in that case, I will do the reef gathering. Unless you want me to just kill the shark and leave it almost dead, and then you can do the reef whilst the shark is taking time to respawn. I don't mind just doing the island. Okay. That's fine. Uh, Alright then. I, I will... can usually dodge the bird. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say that and then I'm going to be like... <laughs> well... Well, the point was to shoot the bird. That's why we've made a bow and arrow and a bunch of arrows. Yeah. Okay. Well, maybe maybe we could kill the shark and then go and then you can go and see if you can shoot the, the well, bird. Do there. you want? Uh, I'm your, happy for you to do it though. If you'd like to. Here's your nemesis. No, I, I don't fancy like trying that either at the moment. Okay. Fair enough. Well, Where's that shark fine. right now? Uh, I'll hop into the water and we'll have a look. There he is, going for you. No, I'll try and draw his attention. Yeah, he definitely did uh, take a chomp at me then. Yeah. It's fine. Should be able and to take If he him. wants to come take another chomp, that's cool. I can get two hits if I start backing up while he's on the approach. Yeah, oxygen. There we go. He's down. Taking one, nice. two, three. For, right, okay, got the meat, I've left the head. The shark should give us a solid te five minutes before the shark is up and running again. Or rather, Beautiful. before the body despawns. And we don't need, like, 4,000 shark heads anyway. No, we don't. We don't. But that will despawn in time, and then a new one will spawn. No, that's fantastic. Uh, I've got There's enough loads water of seaweed for now. at this one. This is a good one for seaweed. I'm glad I managed to get a little bit of a stab at him, regardless. Even if it did hurt me a bit. I have enough food to take. Um, I'm going to take one uh, drink of soup as well. Sorry, I haven't put any more soup on. Let me quickly do that before I head out. Do you know how to cook, by the I way? Haven't... Yep, I do. It's fine. Okay. Put the Put the doofers on the... On the table, and then click cook. Yep. Uh, we're going to need some planks, though, for that. Right. I'm going to head out and explore, then. I haven't taken any of the um, supplies to do with diving, so I haven't got the air tank or the flippers. They should still be around for you. Ah, I didn't bring okay. a second spear, though. That was silly of me. I brought everything out. I was so so conscious of all the things I was bringing. I was like, I'm going to take this, I'm going to take that, I've got a spare axe, because the last one's going about to... Yeah, yeah, and then I didn't bring an extra spear. Uh, let me go and grab that. Oh. All right. All right. I'll bring my hook, just in case. I don't know if I'm going to need it. The other thing is, you can also use the shark's body as a timer. Uh, sorry, uh, like a visual aid. As long as that shark's there, the new one hasn't spawned. And it can't. Yeah, that's a really good tip. Thank you, it guys. Was, for... It was an amazing tip, yeah. I was very, very pleased with that. Ouch. Okay, I heard you a little bit too late. Nope. Found the bird then, did you? Nope. <laughs> I got found by the ball. Oh, dear. I'm just going to fight her on the shoreline, though. Because it can't hurt me if I keep ducking in the water. Cheesy tactics. Engage. Cheesy tactics. Oh, you have to kind of um, poro it a little bit, don't you? Sort of, like, move, let it charge, move out the way. There we go. Give it Bore a down. poke in the bum. Or in the face. You know, it's the worst part to poke, honestly, because it means the face is pointing at you, but still... There we go. I now also have a warthog head. Ah, goat. Unfortunately, we don't have anywhere to um, to keep goats yet. 
Yeah, we'll be eventually. We'll though. work on that though. I think uh, we need to get dirt next, and that'll open up a lot of the farming stuff. I think. We've got some dirt. Oh, do we? Have we researched uh -huh. it yet? I yeah. don't actually know if we've researched. You know what? I don't think we have. We Gosh, are getting. What was that? What? Some. Something poisoned me, I think. Puffer fish. I think I went into like a puffer fish. Yeah, yeah. You, I, you've discovered something that I don't know how to interact with it because if I do any damage, it just despawns. Well, it pops basically. I don't know yeah. how to take them out without them popping. But we need them for certain recipes. Certain, certain like smoothies and things, mm. aren't they? So. Well, I don't. Uh, it might be smoothies, yeah. Something like that. I really I've got a whole new exploring. spear out of a chest. Wow. Nice. I know. Well, that Good, huh? helps the fact that I just lost a spear, so... Currently, still very positive. There's definitely a big reef. There's a reef on the other side of this island as well. I don't know if there is a bird, though. I think we may have found the promised land. Promised land with no bird. Yeah. Just a friendly goat hopping around, spronking. Actually, I don't think goat spawn. I think that's spring box only. Only spring box spawn. If anything else does it, then it's just sparkling. It's just jumping. Hopping. Sparkling hopping. <laughs> I like that. I like uh... that. That gives me a nice image in my head. Yeah, there's a. There's a considerable reef on this far side we need to get some lights as well that has been another request uh, and what yeah, I completely lights on appreciate the boat. Yeah. yeah I completely appreciate that request as well I, I'm so bad and I've mentioned this actually a couple of times streams recently I enjoy the atmosphere that comes from having uh, a particularly like a dark game uh, like a, a ambient night times where you know there isn't much gamma, you know, I'm, I'm one of these people that likes the, the gamma quite low, and the, the calibration is like, hey, drop it down until you can just barely see the image. And it's like, I bottomed the gamma out. The reason for that is I actually spent a lot of money on getting monitors that could replicate uh, very vibrant blacks. And uh, so even in very, very dark environments in games, I can usually make out, like, silhouetted images enough to see by. And so I forget then that... I'm, uh, yeah, I'm yeah. more like, I want to see Gamma up, please. Yeah. Thank you. Shelab likes, uh, like, approaches approaches gaming like they approach filming nighttime in films. They film Finding it in the middle of the day and then the they just... the dark is really good. Oh, is it? I have just realised. It lights up. The, the oh. seaweed pod bit is, it is, kind of is like... glow in the dark. Oh, yeah. that's cool. It's like, it's like some of the... Um, the seaweed you'd get in Subnautica when they were significantly yeah, so easier to it's spot much at night. Easier to see at night, yeah. But yeah, in general, Shelob approaches like uh, light levels in games the same way they do in Hollywood. Uh, do you want to film nighttime? Okay, we'll film it in the day and then we're just going to add a blue filter and it'll yeah, make it look much. dark, but you can still see everything in high detail, which makes a lot of sense. I really should, should approach it a little bit more like that. Shelob is the better of us in that regard. Not really. It's just, I. It's just that what I like personally happens to fit with sort of <laughs> what's slightly nicer for the audience. I am. I am really feeling like there is going to be a bird here somewhere. There has to yeah, be. Yeah, it'll wait until you're until you're uh, halfway up a mountain. But this yeah. time I come prepared, bird. I've got arrows, though I've not got any inventory space anymore. Much sadness. All right. Are you actually selling anything that I can I can purchase or sell or, or give you anything? They want do they want puffer fish here? They do not. They want rare items, it seems. Yeah, super rare items. Advanced small crop plot? What? Hmm. Okay. I'm not sure what is advanced about it, but I'm kind of intrigued. Yeah. There's, there's so much more to the game than the last time I played. It is wild how much more there is. It's exciting, isn't it? It is, actually, yeah. 
because you go into a game that you, you've played through various stages of development, you kind of have a preconceived notion of what you're going to find. And you're like, oh, okay, you know, it, it, I'm sure it's improved what was already there, maybe added a couple of extra things. But this experience for me is wildly different from what I, I uh, experienced previously. So uh, it's, it's very, very exciting. Loads of new stuff for me to find. So nice to have places to put everything away. I know, right? Is oh. the shark corpse still there? I will check now for you. Um, n uh, no, I got bitten by the new shark. <laughs> well, I mean, you said you were going to check, and check you did. Thank you very yeah, much. Yeah, you know. he's on the he's on this. Like, I'll take him out. Yeah, just under the raft. Hello. Ouch. He got uh, me. I can help too. That's okay. I mean, you're welcome to okay. if you want I'm to. Out of hell. Uh, although. The only way, going? oh, going for you. Uh, the only way to take on a shark with a wooden spear is to back up. That way, you can take the shark with absolutely no risk of being bitten yourself. But to do it with a metal spear, you don't need to uh, to back up because it will happily uh, it gives you enough reach. But if you do back up, then you've got an opportunity to look straight down and stab it in the tail as it's yeah. swimming past. So you get two hits. I am going to get through this spear quite quickly, but this seems to be the best way of dealing with the shark, honestly. Look going for you. Okay, I'm yeah, I need to almost out of breath. Out. Yeah, I need to go oh, and no. drop things off. Oh, no. Gee, that'd be okay. Yeah, I needed to bug out and then... Oh, no, I'm incapacitated. That's fine, that's fine. Darn it. Right my next water to the ran a bit low, so then I was struggling to get back on the raft and he bit my bum. Ah, right, yeah. There you go. You Thank you. At least that was an easy rescue and you were right Yeah, by that was actually a fantastic easy, easy rescue as, as they go. That was amazing. Oh, I'm, I'm loving so much just being able to drop things off. This is amazing. Yes. This is so good. Uh, it sometimes it, it sounds silly to make such a big deal just quality of life enhancements, but wow, when you when you actually have them. Where are you, shark? Where be the... I see. Alright. Come over here, you. She's so low on plastic. Couldn't be. Well, where is it all, then? <laughs> it okay. shouldn't be. Oh. I don't know. That's, that's true. I said that once again, and... Uh, only recently, I used it all up to make arrows, because I was expecting to fight a bird. I left, like, okay. two bits of plastic. Right, shark is down. Grabbing some more shark steaks. Leaving it there. Okay. The reef is once again safe. But at this point, because we've, we've got the tools, it actually does take a while to fully uh, explore an area now. But it's so much more rewarding. That's probably the biggest there you difference. Go, guys. That is probably the biggest light. difference that I've had. Oh, if you built yeah. a light. Oh yeah, I can see it. <laughs> I can see the glow from the from the shore. Yeah, that was what I was wanting to make. But I would say that that is probably the biggest difference for me personally. Is how much more there is to do with the islands once you're tech. Yes. Up. There's a lot more that you can you can. Uh, explore and play around with. Uh, there's some things in this cave area. I may as well gather these, I suppose. Oh, wrong thing. There we go. Did the shark go down yet? Yeah, yeah, it's all right, dead. Sorry, I thought I mentioned it. No, that's okay. I'm just going to gather from the little lake in the, uh, the internal body of water on the island, just so that you don't have to swim ashore just to clear that out. Right, uh, Boar Cave is probably the next place for me to investigate. I'll get some more dirt in there. But did you research the dirt? Not yet. I will in a second. I'm doing it. I'm doing a thing first. I'm just doing a thing. Yeah. Mushrooms. I think you'll approve. I'm sure I will. The shovel, oh, the durability on the shovel goes down rather, rather sharpish. I disapprove of that. 
Uh, oh, I just noticed, and it's not just dirt you get when you're digging these dirt piles. You also get, like, scrap and stone occasionally. Huh. Okay. Kind of cool. Kind of cool. I approve. Uh, a little bit of gubbins out here. Might as well grab the plastic while I'm here. While I'm right next to it, you know? Right. Plank as well. I think this is the little... Yes. Oh, wow, I've gone right around the island here. Uh, okay, it's got a couple of trees. I want to get up top. Oh, there's another ball. Okay, so I definitely want to get up top. Uh, I want to lead the ball down to the shoreline because, again, why why shouldn't I cheese the ball? Yeah, cheese, cheese away. Go. He would absolutely go for you. That is, that is true. He would cheese you if he, he had the... Well, is it really cheesing? I mean, the boar is only using what... Uh, the, the, the weapons it was born with. I, I'm, I'm showing up with, like, pointy sticks that glint in the sunlight. Yes. It's rather, rather unfair. That being said, the method by which I acquired said pointy, glinty, sharp sticks is uh, by using the weapons that I was born with, namely the big, massive grey matter stuck big inside brain, my yes. head box. So, I guess, in a way... So there was a big reef on the other side of the island, didn't you? So yeah, okay. more or less there's reef all the way around. Looking at, looking, at, there is so much to gather. It looks like this has got a very vibrant, um, very vibrant area around it. I'm not sure if there's going to be like a cave or something to have a look there. at as well. Might well be. Probably. Okay, so Sheila, question. Yes. What? Does playing this give you? A desire to also play Subnautica? Or is that just me? A little me? bit, yes. <laughs> it really does. I'm glad it's not just me. It's all the diving stuff, isn't it? It's all the yeah. diving around. Especially, it's, it's not so... I mean, the games are different. Uh, they, they exist in somewhat of the same genre in regards to their being them being um, survival games. But, for me, the real comparison or where I feel the, the pull to be like, ah, you know, I should maybe play some Subnautica again is the colourful reefs. Yes. Subnautica Absolutely. does that so well. So, so well. Such beautiful vistas in Subnautica. Now, how am I going to go and fight this ball? Uh, I am, yes, but uh, might want to start having a look around Shelab, making sure that there is no shark. Looming. Okay. Keep your eyes well, I've got full health, so, it, so I'm going to stay kind of close-ish to the shoreline, looking for more reef. Right up, and right if up. he shows up, then uh, I'll jump onto the island. My inventory is already full again. Why? But, like, there's reef all the way around this ah. island. I'm like, not the direction I picked ah. to go in. I just proved. <laughs> oh, I'm not near the shoreline yet. Rude. I thought we agreed. How dare he? We would only fight where I was able to cheese you. <sighs> that was your agreement, was it? Uh, in my head, yeah. I decided on it, <laughs> thus it was agreed. I see. Yeah. Well, that's, that's how agreements work, I'm sure. The person with the pointiest stick makes the decision and then acts like everyone else agreed with it. Isn't that right? Well... That is a seagull over there, not... Uh, there's two of them. But yeah, it's definitely not a... A... A birdie bird. A large bird. I don't think we've got one on this island. Which I'm, unsurprisingly, okay with. Oh, damn it. A little part of you wanted to fight it, though, I can tell. A yes. little part of you that's a tiny bit disappointed. Yes, yes, that is very true. But then the other, the other part of you is like, ah. I, I wanted my revenge. This was, this was going to be the comeback story. But sadly, no. Instead, I'll just kill lots of sharks. Oh, I think I found another treasure chest. Nice. I haven't been to the top of the island, but I strongly suspect there will be a treasure chest up there. Oh, wow, that reef yeah. goes quite far down. Have you found much metal at, at this uh, island? Not a ton, actually. I'm finding more seaweed oh. here. I'm not exactly hurting the metal. I Quite approve. a lot of copper. Lots You're of right. copper and seaweed. 
Yeah, Milab was so very correct. Yeah. I deeply approve. We've got lots of seaweed now. What about nearly 20 of it, I think. 